I'm going to share with you a dream that I had on uh, November the 11th. It was a Friday when I went to sleep, when I woke up Saturday morning, November the 12th. I was really, I was really shaken. I've been praying about this dream, asking God to show me uh, if this was a warning from him, just some type of a sign. This dream was about the death of Donald J. Trump, and I want to pray, I want all of us to pray that this does not happen and it does not take place. Today is um, November the 20th, 2016. I have been up as normal, three o'clock in the morning, not able to sleep, knowing that something, just a feeling, a sense of urgency that something terrible is about to take place. I've been praying about this dream that I had. I'm going to share it with all of you in a moment. I ask him for wisdom and knowledge and understanding of this dream and discernment of this dream and any signs that God would show me that this was a warning. And a series of events have unfolded since I had this dream. I've been waiting, praying about this before sharing it with anyone. And uh, first, there is this uh, mainstream media news. We got to understand first that the Illuminati is involved in the music industry, the movie industry with actors and actresses and with television, the mainstream media, how they sought to assassinate Donald Trump's character with all the slander that they put out during this whole campaign. Donald Trump try to avoid the media, the mainstream media, and have a quiet supper with his family. There's something there to this. Something happened on CNN, a report they were doing uh, in regards to Donald Trump skipping out on the media. They break into a, a, a footage of the assassination attempt on Ronald Reagan. We know what happened in the theater while Mike Pence was trying to watch a play, uh, how the cast of Hamilton went on the attack of Mike Pence as he sat in the upper balcony of the theater. And all of this is coming to me within this last week as I prayed for discernment. We know that Abraham Lincoln was in a theater watching a play when he was assassinated. Is there a connection with the Illuminati and the mainstream media news? We're coming up, today is the 20th, and two days will be the anniversary of the assassination on John F. Kennedy. I put a little clip together. I'm gonna to share this with all of you, and then I wanna share my dream of the death of Donald Trump. I think you're going to find this very interesting and important. Now, remember the other day when Donald Trump ditched the mainstream media to go out and have a, a dinner, a steak dinner with his family. CNN shows Reagan assassination attempt video while reporting on President-elect Donald Trump. So what was the reason for them to play that clip of the attempted assassination on Ronald Reagan. Let's go to the video. We all know about the Illuminati and the subliminal messages, but uh, this goes beyond a subliminal message. Why would CNN link Donald Trump's unannounced dinner to the Reagan assassination attempt? Let me play this. You know, that's not, that's not, that's not, that's not what it was about. What if, what if when Ronald Reagan, when there was the assassination attempt on Ronald Reagan's life, um, part of the, the thing that helped was to have footage from the press there. You Absolutely. saw what happened to the president. This but is, he was the this president. Is more... Why are they showing this? Why are they linking the assassina assassination attempt on Ronald Reagan? What does this have to do with this unannounced dinner by Donald Trump? That is certainly a valid point that he is, that he is not the president. 
It's also a valid point that he has only been the president elect for a week. It is a third. I want to share this with all of you. The Illuminati, are they sending a message to Vice President uh, Mike Pence and President elect Donald Trump? I want to take you back to November 19th, and uh, we're all familiar with this. The cast of Hamilton, I wondered what message they were actually trying to send to Mike Pence. This took place in a theater. Now I want to remind you all of the assassination of Abraham Lincoln, which also took place in a theater. Let me play just a portion of this. Let me rewind this uh, just for a moment. And you'll see where Mike Pence was sitting. Where was Abraham Lincoln sitting when he was assassinated? See? The upper balcony. I want to share that with all of you. On April 14th, 1865, John Wilkes Booth, a famous actor and Confederate sympathizer, fatally shot President Abraham Lincoln at a play at Ford's Theater. As I make this video, it's uh, November the 20th, 2016, but uh, I want to remind everyone we're coming up on the anniversary, November 22nd, of the assassination of John F. Kennedy. Shortly after noon on November 22nd, 1963, President John F. Kennedy was assassinated as he rode in a motorcade through uh, the plaza in downtown Dallas, Texas. Now I want to share this dream that I had a week ago. It's very, very short. It's a very short, a very quick dream, but it was so very, very real. Now as for my confirmation, I have been in prayer before sharing this dream, asking God to give me some confirmation that this is a warning. And a series of uh, events had unfolded, going back to the assassination of Abraham Lincoln as he watched a play in a theater, to the attack on Mike Pence in a theater as he was watching a play, CNN, mainstream media news, doing uh, coverage on Donald Trump, skipping out on the mainstream media to have a steak dinner when they cut to uh, footage of the assassination attempt on Ronald Reagan. And in two days, today is the 20th of November, November 22nd, the anniversary of uh, the assassination on John F. Kennedy. Kennedy was very outspoken and he wanted to do away with the Federal Reserve. Now, before I tell this dream and share it with all of you, Donald Trump is putting together a strong transition team. We know how the Illuminati works. They want to bring about the elite, but really run this country, want to bring about a new world order and a one world government. And uh, Donald Trump being elected, he is the spoiler. He has he has spoiled their plans. Putting together a strong transition team, bringing in his rival, Ted Cruz, who wants to do away with the IRS, uh, the Federal Reserve. All of this has brought me to this point where I want to share this dream. It was very short and very, very quick. And let me share that with you now. Is it a prophetic dream? I don't know but I feel the urge now to share this dream with all of you for your discernment. I don't know what I was dreaming prior to this, but all of a sudden there was 
someone with me, an entity, and I don't know who this person was. I have no image of them. I know they were there and they were guiding me and they were leading me. I know I was in New York City, through the streets of New York City. I seen the buildings and the skyscrapers. We passed a firehouse, a fire station. I could see the big doors to the fire station. I could see the fire trucks. One fire truck was actually pulling out. As we walked past the fire station to this brick building, there was a door and this person that was with me opened the door. When the door opened, I seen a casket and I seen Donald Trump in a casket as someone was closing the lid. I looked to my left and there was his wife, Melania, standing and weeping, a crowd of people all around a second casket. I don't know who was in that second casket. And that quick, I woke up. It was very short and very quick. I want to share this with all of you and I think we need to pray. The church needs to come together. We need to pray for Donald Trump's safety and pray that this was not a prophetic dream, that this was just a dream. So many things go through our mind, our thoughts on a daily basis with all that's happening on the news as of late. And hopefully that uh, this does not come to pass and uh, this was just a dream, but I felt the urgency to share this with all of you. Leave me comments, God bless you.